today. Prices are continuing to fall for PC hardware. These AMD CPUs have a really weird bug. AMD just made Ryzen 8000 official, plus new desktop APUs and Ryzen 8000 performance. Here we come. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. First up for today, we have some great deals on PC hardware from GPUs to even the 7800X3D, and some of these will have affiliate links in the description. It won't cost you anything more, but it helps the channel out. Starting things off, AMD's RX 6800 is currently on sale for its lowest price in China right now, around $395 when converted to US currency. That makes for one very decent deal given the 6800 more or less trades blows with the 4060 Ti depending on the resolution, yet it has double the VRAM, so at $400, it's not bad. Next at Newegg, a 6800 XT is currently on sale for $499 with this promo code. Moving to CPUs, the 7800 X3D is being sold by Newegg, but on eBay, which is an odd one. Either way, it's at its lowest price at just $406. Finally, while not at all trying to make these all AMD deals, it just worked out that way, but AMD's Ryzen 5 5500 is currently on sale for just $81 with this code. That's basically a steal for this 6-core 12-thread CPU, so I had to mention it. Next up for today, a new bug in some of AMD's CPUs was recently found, and it's an odd one. But first, it's time to take your passion for PC hardware and put it into something that can actually make you money, like a career in computer science. And there's no better place to get started than with this video's sponsor, Brilliant. The online learning tool that I recommend for anyone hoping to dive into STEM, especially given Brilliant was made to teach it. The main thing I love about it though is that they teach you by getting you in there to do it yourself. So you're not just reading long books or memorizing a bunch of formulas. Instead, you learn with these really fun little puzzles that slowly build as you go until you actually understand how it works. It's honestly, well, brilliant. Okay, that was lame, but get this. When you visit brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you can try out Brilliant for 30 days free. Plus, when you sign up using brilliant.org slash gamermeld, you'll get 20% off the annual premium. So there's no reason not to try it. Once again, that's brilliant.org slash gamermeld. Now back to the story, as I said, there was a new bug found in some of AMD's CPUs, specifically their Epic Rome series processors. And while it really isn't a huge deal, it is pretty weird. According to AMD, if you let the CPU run for 1,044 days without restarting, a core will hang and fail to exit the CC6 sleep state. According to one Redditor, it'll actually happen in 1,042 days and roughly 12 hours because the timestamp counter runs at 2,800 megahertz. And after that amount of time, an overflow occurs that keeps it in this state. That's one theory at least, but regardless, the fix is to either disable the CC6 state or restart the system before 1044 days. Obviously, that shouldn't be too difficult for most, given you should have updated the system long before that day is up, but apparently someone didn't, which is likely how AMD found out. Unfortunately, though not much of a surprise, AMD isn't planning to fix the bug, so if you do own one of their Rome processors, I suggest you restart before that day. And next up, AMD recently made their next-gen Ryzen 8000 CPUs official, along with quite a few other details. The story comes from a new Meet the Experts webinar put on by AMD, where the company shared this slide. As you can see, it's a socket roadmap that actually gives us multiple things we didn't previously know. For starters, we can see that the new AM5 socket will scale into 2026. Obviously, the AM4 socket was really well received because it was supported for multiple generations of Ryzen Ryzen CPUs. When AMD announced their new AM5 socket, they alluded to it lasting a while, but I don't think we ever got any hard numbers. Well, it looks like AM5 is set to be around for quite a while as well. Not only that, but as you can see right here, AMD makes the Ryzen 8000 series official. Obviously, we went from Ryzen 5000 to 7000, so naming is sometimes up in the air for AMD, but apparently next-gen will go in line with their 8000 series. And given this is about their desktop AM5 socket, we we know they're talking about desktop Ryzen 8000. According to this, it's set to launch sometime next year. And AMD also includes some specs. We can see that it's built on their next-gen Zen 5 architecture, which isn't much of a surprise. But what is, is Navi 3.5. Apparently, these will include integrated GPUs with a new Navi architecture between Navi 3 and Navi 4. Next, it mentions that AM5 will support new CPU core and graphics upgrades on an annual cadence. Then AMD claims that they'll bring leading performance 
performance per watt, advancing their lead in power efficiency, all of that good stuff. But there's one final thing that's really easy to miss, yet is extremely important. Under the Ryzen 7000 series, you can see it says Zen 4 and Navi 3.0. The issue here is that currently, desktop Ryzen 7000 only has integrated GPUs based on Navi 2, not 3 meaning AMD is apparently planning to release more Ryzen 7000 CPUs for desktop. More specifically, I'd bet these are for Ryzen 7000 Phoenix APUs. Of course, desktop Ryzen 7000 are technically APUs already, but I mean ones with a decent number of GPU cores. Of course, we haven't seen true desktop APUs since Ryzen 5000G, so AMD is definitely behind in getting us a new generation. And lastly for today, we have even more information on AMD's upcoming Ryzen 8000 desktop CPUs. In a new video from Red Gaming Tech, he gives us some updated information on these next-gen parts. Of course, as AMD goes through the development process, performance expectations as well as specs will change. So as we get closer to release, things will of course get more accurate. Either way, as you can see right here, they still claim that Ryzen 8000 will keep their 16-core maximum, so core counts won't be going up next gen. Each CCD also remains at 8 cores per CCD. The L1 cache is at 80 kilobytes per core, with L2 at 1 megabytes per core and L3 at 32 megabytes per CCD, so the same 64 megabyte total L3 cache. The TDP will also be at 170 watts, which isn't a surprise given AMD mentions 170 watts maximum in that slide I just covered. Next we have clocks, to which his source claims we could be around 5.8 to 5.9 gigahertz to as high as 6 gigahertz. That's obviously quite impressive, but it's not much higher than their current clocks with Ryzen 7000. And that's because, according to this, a lot of the performance is coming from IPC. As you can see right here, we're looking at around a 19% IPC improvement over Ryzen 7000, which is certainly not bad at all. I guess time, as always, will tell. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's upcoming Ryzen 8000? Or are you just ready for new desktop APUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And don't forget to try out Brilliant at brilliant.org slash gamermel. And as always, have a great day!